Hello everyone and welcome back to this new video. In this video or tutorial, I will show you how to uh, filter table using AngularJS. Well, AngularJS is a JavaScript framework for the front end and it allows users to create interactive single page applications. You can read more information about AngularJS over here. Now, this video is a user requested uh, by Yash Travel who wanted to uh, implement this uh, filter table feature using JavaScript. So, if you want to make uh, or if you want to implement this feature, I would highly recommend to use AngularJS. So, first, let me show you a demo. So, um, this is my table and it consists of uh, 15 records, and I can search for any records. Say, I want to search for Chennai or if I want to uh, sort the city in ascending order. So if I click the city, it uh, sorts in the ascending order. If I wanted to for the state, it works for the state as well, or the ID. So now let's get started with the tutorial. So first, um, go back to this root directory. And um, Go, this is our index.html file which uh, in which I've already included the necessary scripts the angular script the app.js and the uh, bootstrap the version of bootstrap I'm using is version 4 so uh, you can get this angular script um, from here that is the CDN and uh, the file you require is this one Uh, so first we define our angular application. So in order to define our angular application We use this directory that is ng app and the name set to my app So now let's go back to this app.js and create our app So our variable app is equals to angular module My app And the second parameter is the dependencies. Well right now we do not have um, but it is necessary to provide this empty array. Uh, one more thing, I'm using a live server extension which automatically reloads my page on if it notices any change. You can search for this live server over here. Now let's uh, create our controller. So in order to uh, define our controller, we need this directory that is ng controller and this is the name of of our controller and this is the alias so well controller is basically uh, a sort of object which controls the value of our angular applications so in order to define our controller we need app dot controller which is table controller and the next is the callback function and first let defines let us define some property or value say let this is equal, this dot message is equals to hello there so if we uh, go back to this index.html and say uh, replace this with pv dot message and if we reload you can see the message was printed over here so this is the angular one way binding that means one way binding that means the value of our applications or this app.js can be bind to these html elements so this is my state.json file and it consists of around 15 records and we will get this list or this file using ajax so uh, now let's go back to this app.js and uh, first make our HTTP request. So in order to use the HTTP request, we need an inbuilt service that is HTTP. So in order to use HTTP, we need to uh, inject this service into our controller through this. So once we have done this, we can access this HTTP.get. Then uh, the first is the URL say uh, states dot json and then so 
so basically catch uh, function catches an error and if there is an error we can occur so if everything works fine then we can first log this out response dot data and response I hit refresh and and if we open the console we can see our data so first let's create a table So we have created this element table with the class table and table stripe. ID, the city and the state. Now in order to uh, in order to uh, print these records into our uh, So now we need to display the records. So in order to display the records, we need an another uh, attribute or say a directive that is ng repeat that allows us to do through a particular array. So x in tv dot states. So uh, we haven't defined this states uh, property. So we need to go back to this app dot js and create this this dot states. First, initially we have set the value equal to an empty array and when the request is completed we can change this value is equal to response.data so go back to this index.html and uh, let's display the records x.id name and city. Go back and uh, it is not uh, showing right now. Let's go back to the app.js and let's uh, see. Yes, of this is the error. So first. <coughs> And instead of this it should be T and it works perfectly fine it is not displaying yes and it works perfectly fine now as you can see we have our 15 records now it is time to create our filter mm. So first create an another input that would be over here input form control before that we need to create a row and search and we have the search bar so now we need to have a two-way binding between the uh, index.html as well as our angular application so uh, for this we use the another directive that is ng model that basically binds the value of input to the our angular application so we want to name it say tb dot search value say search bar. so now we need to uh, search in our array so we can use an uh, filter property filter can be basically defined uh, basically uh, used by using this pipe over here so a uh, filter would be tb.search well 
Now if you try to search say Mumbai and it works perfectly fine or say Delhi so now we have completed the search part but we also need to sort the values by all the fields like uh, we need to sort the city in ascending order or descending order or the state or ID so what we need to do is we need an another director that is ng click that basically executes a function when this particular element is clicked so uh, we define uh, we uh, create function say filter which will be id and we can paste this over here as well should be city uh, sorry it should be name and state well, let's go back to this app.js and create this function filter So we define another property that is filter by which is set equal to field. Now go back to this index.html and we need to use this value. We are using another filter that is order by and the value set equal to tb.filter by. Now let's hit, uh, refresh and uh, let's click on city it's not working uh, yes it won't tb dot I just forget it every time now let's uh, try to click on city and it works or if state it also works but in the ID we do have uh, some sort of problem that is it starts with 1, 10, 11, 12 and the order is not correct. So in order to fix this we can just remove this ID and set it to false. So if I click on city or if I click on ID now it works perfectly fine. So this order by, by default filters it by ascending order. So if you want to order it by descending order we can use another one which is minus one which sort the field in descending order as you can see over here or city or state so we can just remove this minus one over here also if you want you can also limit the records to a particular extent so let's say you want five records or ten records so uh, what we can do over here is create this another input and name it limit two say or we can say just tv dot limit so we need to create an another filter that will be limit two and the value set it to equal to tv dot limit so initially we can also uh, uh, let's say if we want say five records it limits the record to five uh, also initially we can uh, set uh, values let's say 15 so if you if you can go back to this app.js and if we set this dot limit is equals to say five so by default it will set the limit to five or else what we can do is limit which is set to response dot data dot length it is uh, your choice what you want to do you can either set a static value let's say 5 or 10 it's dependent upon you
we also need to create a switch so that the user by clicking the uh, same field that is city can sort in the ascending or the descending order so another way to sort uh, in ascending or descending order is by using false or true but false means it will uh, not reverse the array or reverse the order by true means it will reverse that particular thing so if you click on city or state so what we need to do is we need to create uh, provide this value say tv dot reverse and by default we can set this dot reverse set equal to false so whenever we uh, click or uh, the function is filter function is executed we change this value so it will be equal to t dot reverse is equal to t dot reverse okay there is spelling error reverse same applies for this okay so first let me show you uh, uh, the value as well tv dot reverse so now initially it is set to false so once we click cd uh, it didn't change yes of course so first initially it is set to false and if we click the cd this value becomes true and uh, it is in the reverse order or the descending order if we click again city it is in the ascending order the same applies for city as well and we can just remove this false which is over here now as you can see by using this table filter in the front end it reduced the number of requests that were made to the server so uh, once we have received the data we can easily sort without um, calling uh, without making uh, further requests to the server so i guess uh, this was our today's tutorial if you liked it do hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this if you have any suggestions or anything you can just ask in the comments as well as i will upload a sample project so that you can test this out and thanks for watching.